Hundreds of thousands in tax dollars are spent every year to mow and maintain a growing number of vacant lots. But a new pilot project being tested in Cleveland could provide some relief to the city budget and the environment. They are called mow goats. That's right, goats brought to the inner city to take down tall grass and weeds. Five on your side troubleshooter Joe Paganakis joins us live from a vacant lot where, wow, it looks like the mo goats really got the job done. <laughs> You bet, Lee. This lot right here at West 61st and Frontier Avenue used to have grass that was above the knee, but as you can see, these mow goats work very quickly, and they are extremely hungry. The yellow sign makes it clear. No mowing at this lot on Cleveland's west side because there are goats on the job. They're called mo goats, and their relentless chewing makes quick work of high grass and weeds. They consume practically everything that's green that needs a trim. But I forgot they prune trees too. Resident Art Ledger has seen the mo goats in action in his neighborhood. They're brought in by this trailer, and they just keep eating until the lot is clear. Their droppings are transported to community gardens for use as fertilizer, and their effort costs far less than the average $300 spent to bring in a lawn mowing team. Not to mention, these guys don't pollute the air. The equivalent of a uh, riding mower operating for about one hour emits the same uh, emissions into the environment that 34 cars do for one hour. Program director Megan Meister with the Stockyard Clark Fulton Development Office spent 18 months studying the viability of using goats to mow inner city lots a program that has had significant impact in other U.S. cities. The GOATs also promote a sense of community and volunteerism. We're really building community because we're all coming together here. Arts recruited, recruited a ton of volunteers to help us, and we're all kind of working together and learning from each other. Now, these mo GOATs were brought in from a Madison, Ohio farm, and it's clear they really enjoy their work. Residents are pleased with the results and hope more MOGO teams will be put on the job. I think it's a great idea. I have imagined that 100 goats in this whole near west side area would clear up every lot. And it's still not clear if city officials consider this Mo Goat pilot project an overwhelming success. However, the Community Development Corporation right here in this neighborhood is set to recommend a second set of Mo Goats later this summer. We'll keep you updated. I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. Well, and certainly far more entertaining to watch than some guy with a mower. <laughs> you gotta admit yes. that. <laughs> yeah, the kids love them, that's for sure, Lee. Uh, all right, Joe, that's just great. Thanks so much. And goats aren't the only animals taking care of local lawns. We just shot this video of sheep helping to trim the grass earlier this month in Cleveland. The folks at St. Clair Superior Development Corporation have teamed up with a group called Urban Shepherds to stop mowing and start grazing. The grazing program continues. June through October on North Marginal Road near the Cleveland Lakefront State Park. 